Good morning, good afternoon, and a very good evening to you all, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Resident Evil 5. You are here with Morris, and at the end of the last part, ooh, treasures, we had just beaten the uh, the the uh, the flying the the flying thing, you know, with the wings and the and the mouth with the sort of fangs and the and the orange thing up its ass that you got to shoot. I don't know what its name is. I don't know what its name is. Do you know why? Because the boss fights in this game they're not as memorable. You know, that's just my opinion. They're not as memorable as previous games. Boss fights in Resident Evil should be a big deal, don't you think? I mean, everybody remembers, like, you know, well, everybody remembers all the tyrant battles, the nemesis following you all the way through Resi 3. Yawn, the snake from the first game. Everybody remembers these things. I don't know what the name of that is. And uh, just, just, if you know the name of it, just put a comment right now without looking it up. I wonder how many people could do that, and if you can, then you know what, more power to you, you know you're Resident Evil. <laughs> but yeah, um, so we've just beaten that, and now we're on to the next chapter, which I think is just purely like a turret section. So we actually don't need any items whatsoever, certainly Sheva doesn't need any, which is just as well, she doesn't have any ammo. I don't know what she was doing in the last chapter, but, uh, but there you go, no ammo left. I'll give her a herb just in case, she's probably more likely to get it. Actually, no, you know what, I'm going to take that. So I don't think anybody needs anything, but I'm just going to keep stuff on Chris just in case something just in case something untoward happens here. Um, and I don't think there's anything we actually need to buy. I think it's all pretty pretty bog standard stuff. We all, well, we've got it all, haven't we, really? Melee vests, we've got those. I think the melee vests have, have really helped, actually, in that last chapter, because we got hit a lot. But it seems like we're taking damage that you'd normally take if I was playing on normal. You know, so that's... Uh, I, think we get, I think we can deal with that. So yeah, let's just jump right in. Yeah, turret section. We leapt on the back of this uh, this Jeep, whatever you want to call it. I always want to call them Patriots, <laughs> just because of Grand Theft Auto. Um, but come on, it's a great name. But um, yeah, we jumped on the back, and it's just purely turrets. I heard about Irving. Tough break. And this yes. is the part of the game when you know that Resident Evil has changed. You know, we're just going to take... We're gonna take the, uh, albeit light. I think light is the uh, is a is a choice term. Light puzzle solving element. We'll take that away. We'll replace it with turrets and crazy guys on motorbikes. Yeah, we'll do that. And they all look exactly the same. How do I uh, how do I fire again? Ah, square of course. It's been a few weeks since I played. All right. Oh yeah, and the gun overheats. Gosh dang! Can't have any of that. Oh, grab on to nothing. God, this guy's insane. <laughs> there is no way we wouldn't have, uh, have rolled the vehicle there. Oh, better follow Sheva's lead here. Oh yeah, I forgot about it. All right, let's just bit of burst fire. That's what you need. But yeah, replace it. Uh, replace all the puzzle solving with just. Oh jeez. Place all the puzzle solving with turret sections. Yeah, no, good idea. Oh god, we're being Molotov. Yeah. This can actually get pretty tough, this section, on the harder difficulty. Professionally, you've got to be near perfect with it, really. Although, I guess you've got to be near perfect with everything. I used to know where people came from, so you can kind of fire in advance before they get a chance to uh, to hit on you. So there's a good chance we're going to go down. <laughs> oh, hold on, hold on, Chris. Don't fall out. Sheva's really having a tough time. I mean, I, I I feel pretty protected up here. Sheva's got the worst of this. Oh, don't kill me, please. And I can't even aim at those guys at the front, which is annoying. Oh, there we go. That'll do. That'll do nicely. Oh, jeez. Oh, God. So, yeah, this is really the point of the game where you know Resident Evil is never, never going to be the same. <laughs> and you know, I, I I will always stick to the idea. Whoa, I just bring up the trigger. <laughs> I'll always stick to the idea that I'm never gonna uh, criticize or condemn a game too harshly for, uh, for putting in something new. And uh, you, you you could say, well, why don't you extend that courtesy to Resident Five? But this is, whilst it's new for Resident Evil, it's not new. It's not a new idea overall. You know, turret sections are pretty uh, pretty standard, pretty standard stuff. You know? It's nothing too exciting. It's nothing nobody will have seen before. So, oh god, we're really losing health. Here. It's that chain reaction, you know, when you get hit like two or three times. Oh jeez, is that thing still? How oh, there's so many guys in here. How big is that truck? I've got a good feeling about about us dying here. 
it is very unlikely that we are not going to get hit again. Yeah, no, we're dead. <laughs> oh, but I'm not. I'm not dead. I'm still looking. Look, I'm perfectly fine there. Come on. It's all right. I think we get a checkpoint like halfway through. Ugh. All right. Let's pay attention. Let's let's get these jeeps. Let, well, not jeeps. Let's get these trucks before they even have a chance to do anything. Really the burst fight. There you go. That one's down. That one's down. But yeah, turret sections. You know, they're not nothing. They're not. They're not anything new in the gaming world. So you can't really. You can't really say, "Oh, fair play, isn't he? But you, you know, you're trying. It's like, no, no, you're not really trying. Are you? <laughs> you're not trying your best. And I think that point extends to the boss fight. Got some sharp curves up ahead. Hold on tight. Where did they come from? Ah, oh, left. Thanks, Shevet. God, I can barely see that aim in this. Alright, let's, uh, let's try and get rid of this truck. Oh, God. There you go, that's fine. Where did he. Ah! Where did he get these guys from? I am, I am surprised <laughs> at the level of commitment. It makes me think that maybe these guys have a point. You know? Maybe they're not crazy. They're just they're just really into it. They believe it. <laughs> okay, okay. Dude, can you drive straight? Thank you. Yeah, checkpoint. Whoa, okay. Oh, gotta get the glowy red barrels. There's no reason why you couldn't have driven through this or around this. Oh god, I... Oh, okay, there we go. Just had to blow up the truck. <laughs> I was like, am I going to have to take all those guys out? Nice. There was some good murdering. Where from? Where from? Right side. Cool. We got it. We got it. He's trying to ram us into the river. Do something! I'm trying. You can hear the gunfight. You know what? I actually think Sheva's doing a lot of the work here. For once. <laughs> I think we're nearing the end, actually. It's getting dark, and I know the next bit is at night. <laughs> oh, there we go. Sweet. Mmm. That is good tea. I got some good tea here with me today. Apologies in advance if I sound a bit nasally as well. I don't know why that is. Well, I'll tell you why it is, actually. It's probably because of all the dust just circling my face right now. Just hoover it up and dust it up and all that bollocks, and I don't know why I bother. All I ever do is just chuck the dust in the air and it just flies up my nose, down my throat, and I just choke for, like, two hours, and then it's just back to normal, so... <laughs> I don't know why I bother. Whoa! That guy thought he could make it. <laughs> I do remember the boss fight that's coming next, but not for the right reasons. <laughs> anyone unfamiliar with this game will soon find out, and anyone familiar with this game will know immediately what I'm talking about. Oh god, why does this always happen? Maybe we should just keep going. <laughs> oh my god. It can't be. T Rex? Whoa. Well, you know he's dead. Yeah, I'm sure you all recognize where this is from. <laughs> it's El Gigante. 
or Elegante. I don't know, it, it depends what your pronunciation is. But nonetheless, this is the Resident Evil 4 one. Although, I don't know why this one has a beard. This one looks a lot older. I don't know, it's like, it's almost as if it's like, hey, you know what, this... This is an old idea, and the Gigante has just aged along with it. <laughs> Maybe it's one of the Resi 4 Gigante's dads or something, or granddads, I don't know. Now then, I, uh, I don't rightly remember how to do this. I think you just gotta kinda keep firing. And then uh, dodge whenever it. Oh, there you go, there's one. <laughs> that would surely kill you in one, I feel. And there's all the kind of barrels and everything. But it's all done from the point of this turret. I mean, that's not cool. I mean, what's what? Uh, what do you think? What, come on, guys. What do you think is cool? You know, shooting it from a turret or jump it up onto its back and slashing at it with a knife. I mean, I remember the question is not what's more realistic; it's what's cooler. Oh god, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh yeah. Me and Sheva doing the business. If I remember rightly, this takes a while on the heart of this little piece of <laughs> I gotta get rid of these guys also. You don't want to leave those to the last minute. Ship damage is very important in this boss fight, it would seem. Oh my, where do I find it? Oh, the head. Always the head. Or the under. There we go. There we go. Back you go. Where are they coming from now? It's alright, Chevy. You just carry on doing what you're doing. <laughs> oh god. I think we have to actually shoot the back, the boulder from here. Yeah, it didn't feel like we did it, but we did it. <laughs> I think I'll take advantage of that barrel that I left there. Oh god. You get a, a bit of time to, to dodge those. Actually. And this is one of those boss fights that's a lot easier on the. Whoa! A lot, I forgot about those. A lot easier on the. if you, if you can go off. Just because one of you can always make sure that you're concentrated on the. Uh, the uh, the guys who come up with the with the axes and the molotovs and whatever else. Oh. Also, there is no reason why this uh, this guy couldn't just you know kick the jeep away <laughs> with us inside it. But he chooses a very strange method of attack. I think one more whoa. I think one more of those should do it. I'm not even gonna let you get a look in there. Oh! It's so close. It's like it must be a frame or something. <laughs> That's the difference between getting hit and getting hit. Don't let this bad boy overheat either. Ah, come on, guys. Give me a chance. Oh, that's one. I don't even know what to aim at here. I still have that other red barrel as well. Oh, God, I missed that one. Nah, Chevrolet, I'd say about two or three more hits. Not that I want to get hit by that. Come on, come on, move back, son, move back. Oh, there we go. 
Now this might do it here. We might just have it. There you go. It was like two shots away. If only it had done that first. If it had just leapt on us, <laughs> then we'd have to abandon the turrets. It could have killed us easy. Dark tags. Where are you, Josh? Anyone you know? Sheva, you don't have to do this. You can still back out. What about you? I've got a personal stake in this. A personal stake? Chris, look around. We should both get the hell out of here. I'm not here just for the mission. What are you talking about? A while back, I received some intel that my old partner was still alive. At first, I didn't know what to think. But when I saw the data file from Delta Team, I knew for sure. Jill is still alive. My god. That woman in the data file? Are you even sure it's the same person? We were partners. I'm sure. Wait! Look at the size of that knife. Wait! <laughs> it looks bigger from the alone. front when you can't even see it all. Chris, wait! I don't have much time. I have to find her. I'm going with you. These are my people that are dying here. Are you sure about this? A second ago, you were ready to cut and run. I can't just turn my back and walk away. There are no more orders from here on in. It's just us. We are partners. To the end. Now let's get moving. Beautiful. Copy that. Well, it's lucky this was just here. <laughs> I don't even know what their plan is. He just gets in and drives off. <laughs> Look at him there, he's like, I'm the captain of this. <laughs> ah, that's a pretty easy chapter. Luckily we don't have to... There's no, no kind of item management there. End of chapter 2-3. Oh, good. Don't want to do that. All right, let's just carry straight on, shall we? Um, again, do I want to give Shiver any ammo? Not really. Can I, um... No, I don't want to give her anything. <laughs> I'll keep the rifle. Do I want to take the shotgun, maybe? I don't know. Yeah, no, go on. I'll, I'll, I'll take the shotgun as well. But not the ammo for it. Six should be enough. More than enough to kill anything that moves. Um, and the reason I'm keeping with this older rifle is because it's more powerful. Just from the... Whoa, I nearly sold it then. It's more powerful from the start. So, And that one has no bullets. So, it makes more sense, I believe. Alright, buy. What could I possibly buy from that? A new handgun. I don't want it. Stun rod. I don't want it at all. I'm not ready to go with the melee just yet. Probably think I'm crazy not taking any ammo for Sheva, but it's fine, we'll find some, you know? It's fine. What could possibly happen out here in the middle of a lake, river, whatever? <laughs> what happened to your partner? Jill and I were pursuing a man in Dalbert Western. Wesker. This might be the first time that this game is actually given umbrella, context. The leader of our stars unit. In the in the grand the scheme of Resident City Evil. Incident on Rockford Island. And what are we like? Two, three, three hours in. <laughs> then a few years ago, we got a tip from a reliable source: the whereabouts of Umbrella's founder, Oswell E. Spencer. So we paid him a visit, hoping he'd lead us to Wesker. You actually had to do this fight in the DLC. And the DLC for this Lost in Nightmares is actually pretty good. Oh, wow. 
my skin. How does he get his hair like that? I've been trying for years. I can't pull that off. <laughs> oh yeah, and apparently he learned the flash step out of uh, Bleach. So. There's that as well. <laughs> oh! Step up from Code Veronica. No! <clears throat> Let's finish this. No! Oh, man. Pile driver out the window. Jill's body was never found, and she was presumed dead. The person I saw in that data looked like. It's not clear how she lives. You two were close. We were partners. I mean, that's not a spoiler. Of course she's alive. Otherwise, there's no game. <laughs> there's no story. I involved in an accident caused by a pharmaceutical company when I was young. Varela? Yes. I only found out later that the accident was to cover up the manufacturing of biological weapons for terrorists. Well, looks like we both have a personal stake in this. Bioweapons were responsible for the deaths of my parents. And someone has to pay for that. So you joined the BSAA. There's only so much one person can do. Even a superhero like you, Chris. I'm no superhero. But together, we can... I'm just an old killer. <laughs> I had to do some wet work. Make a stand for our fallen brothers. Hang on. Is this safe? Oh, okay, you did it. <laughs> uh, there were no guarantees there. He just went for it. That could have been the end. Alrighty. This is where, unfortunately, I'm sorry to say, this is where my uh, memory of this game starts to fade. <laughs> Possibly at the worst moment whatsoever. Because you get to uh, th th this whole area. Is there a map? Not not really. Oh, no, yeah, there is. A, it, that's that's all the different locations, isn't it? Yeah, you get to drive on this little, uh, this little hovercraft <laughs> dealy over here. To all these different areas, but I can't remember the ones you need to go to, and I can't remember the ones that, um, well, that you don't need to go to. I know there's a rocket launcher in the center, I think. Is that right? Uh, so we may just go and get that. Um, that's all I remember. In fact, I don't even think you need anything from this, do you? The corpse of a BSA agent, such a tragedy. His PDA is an unsent message. Schedule report. Ah, uh, whatever. It's not going to have any hints on it and where to go. It should tightly. Don't think we can open it. Would there even be anywhere to go there? Doesn't look like it. Alright. Ah, uh, let's move, shall we? I don't think there's... Oh, there is something. I didn't even see that. Right in the center. <laughs> the Beast Slate. Okay, actually, does it say how many of those we need? Nope. Good. <laughs> no hints whatsoever from the notes. Good. <laughs> That's exactly what I need. Alright, how do I drive this thing? Please give me some controls. Oh, okay, so that's 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 the uh, X, nope. Oh, there we go, R1, right, cool. Okay, so we better have just get the map out. Um, I'm gonna go to the big glowy thing first. I'm guessing that's the door to get out of this area, but I just wanna check. Is there like a speed up button or something? Oh yeah, there, there we go. Okay, okay, easy now, easy, whoa, there, yeah, whoa, okay. Yeah, no, let's just get out in the middle of the lake, let's do that. <laughs> yeah, no, is this the uh, the door with all of the yeah, air? Here we go. Okay, it looks, from that, it looks like there's four different pieces. Or I guess three left. Oh, slate map. Oh my god, I've never found that item once. I've never found that, cool. 
<laughs> In my whole history of playing this game, I've never found that item. Please stop. Yeah, there we go. I was going to say, please stop me facing outward. Alright, well if that's the case, then I'm going to go to the places that I don't need to go first. For extra bonus goodies. Presumably. How do I... Oh, okay. Luckily it just lets me get out straight away. Yeah, I don't know which uh, of these things have, like, enemies on them either. So that's going to be interesting. Do we need these, uh... We don't need those. I just spied one of those little, uh... Is that an emblem? Yeah, we don't need those. That's just for bonus goodies. We don't need any of those. Jump down. What the hell? Why would I want to do that? Maybe there's fish in these here waters that I can use for health. But I don't have time to go hunting. Ooh, treasure. Well, I'll take that one. I hope uh, Sheva doesn't mind me stealing all these treasures and just selling them on. I don't know if she would approve of that. Is there a... Uh, can you get out of here or not? Is this where the rocket launcher is? Why do I think there's a rocket launcher here? There must be something here. Maybe not a rocket launcher, but something. Otherwise, why would I even think? <laughs> why would I be thinking? Oh, there's a case. There's something. There's something that I just can't access for some reason. Wait, do I need to go up here? Yeah. <laughs> nearly made me abandon it there. Oh, there it is. Cool. Oh, God, no. We can't have that. What if she just uses it? Nah, she wouldn't. There's no way she ever would just whip that out. I'm taking a chance, but I don't think I don't think she'd be programmed to be that surely. <laughs> Alrighty, let's go to this center area. See what's over here. I don't even know what I'm looking for in here. Well, this looks pretty pretty well guarded. There may be bad guys. Possibly more treasure. Possibly eggs. Precious eggs. Oh, here we go. Money, money. Not even sure what I'm going to spend all this money on yet. I think there's actually a vest later on which protects from gunfire, which we'll probably buy two of. Because guns are the worst. Well, not gunfire, but like projectiles. Or maybe it is good fire. I'm trying to remember. I think maybe at the end. Um... Sheva, can you pick up these eggs? You grab it. I think towards the end of the game, there's actually you grab it. Like guys with AKs and shit knocking around. It's like, what the hell? How? <laughs> Where did you get this fire power? Come on. I remember having a problem with it then as well. <laughs> there we go, Sheva. See, we're, we're getting ammo for you. It's not, it's not a lost cause after all. Do eggs stack? Yeah, they do. Alright, let's actually get one of these key pieces, shall we? Let's get this, because it's closest. Now, I think the best way of doing it... Uh, maybe not this one, but I, th I think... Um, no, yeah, this one as well, actually. I think the best way of doing these is just to kind of... Peg it, basically, and don't let anything stop you. Now, I know there's crocs in here. Oh, there's one. I also know they're actually kind of easy to dodge. Like, as long as you... Uh, the, okay, 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 there we go. There you go, see? Straight past. Sheva's pretty good with it as well. She's not going to let anyone there get it. Okay, but this is where it might get a little bit trickier. I can't remember if there's people here. Yep, no, there's people here. <laughs> Alrighty, let's move. We're all infected. How could someone do this to them? We gotta put them all down. Holy shit. Oh, I forgot this is where we start getting new enemies, isn't it? Oh! Just uppercut everybody. Oh god, oh god, there we go. Okay, we're just gonna run. We're just gonna go. Nice one. Good job. Good job. I can't pick anything up either, which is a bit annoying. <laughs> So yeah, we're just going to have to peg it for this item. Come on. There we go. 
And we're gone. Oh god, come on. Come on, Shiva, let's see. Pick up the pace. Good job. Good job doing it for me. Oh, here we go. And we're out. <laughs> that should clear the way. Yeah, it's not worth sticking around to fight everyone. Just a waste of ammo. Alright, let's get out. Get back to the boat. Let's get back to the boat and leave. Oh, God. Woo! I don't think so. I think Shevin can just kind of auto-dodge those things. Come on, please don't be one in my way. Yes. Oops. I don't want to do that. Hurry! Roger. Hurry, damn it, Shiva. Come on. Pick up the pace. I'm going to let you carry an extra ammo. Although she does have a rocket launcher, I guess. <laughs> oh, God. Let's move. Alrighty then, that's one down, two to go. I gotta pause it for now though guys, but thank you so so much for watching this episode of Resident Evil 5. Where am I going? And uh, I do hope to see you all in the next part guys, and I will see you in a bit. See you later.